Hi, it's Bruce Berry with Pro Sport Fisher, and um, I'm here with the North 40 Outfitter guys. We're going to put another fly together for you. This is a possum leech I've been using for steelhead, and it um, doesn't even really have a name yet. I've been fishing it for a couple seasons. It works really good, and usually you name it, but here we go. I'm going to tie it for you. I've just started with a large hook guide in orange, a nanotube in black, and the first thing I'm going to do is drop a little zappa gap on there. And this is a raw weight small. That's a tungsten weight in the size small. And then we'll start with thread. Six aught is what I'm using, but use your favorite. Leeches are kind of cool. I mean, they've been a, a long time staple of Northwest steelhead fishermen from Joel House Starlight Leech to Double Bunnies and I mean, just all kinds of stuff for different leech patterns. This thing I find that I like because it's easy to cast. Um, the possum actually has a sanded or ground, ground hide, so the leather doesn't pick up much water. It sheens a little bit like polar bear, and it's really easy to cast, and it moves really good. So the other thing is it's kind of a guide fly, so it's not really super hard to tie. You can actually crank them out pretty quick. So purple UV ice chenille, I said that wrong, purple UV polar chenille. We're going to flea comb through it, make sure nothing's trapped. And I've got these <clears throat> possum pieces pre-taper cut, and it comes in about four inches wide by about five inches tall. You can straight cut it, you can cross cut it, you can take the hair off of it and spin it in a dubbing loop. These taper cut pieces are kind of a Scandinavian style and they work really good. And it's fat up at the front and the tie-in point, and that's enough to make one lap around the tube. So it really essentially kind of stiffens it, and that keeps the fly from wanting to foul. All it's allowed to do is wiggle, and I think it's a great way to ensure a fly that fishes well and doesn't foul. Put a possum strip on there. Make sure it's straight, that looks good. Forward, make some X's. Cover that tie-in point. And the tubes have some, they compress fairly easily, so it's easy to lock things down to tube more so than a hook or a shank or whatever. But that's just an extra measure of safety with the zappa gap and the cross wraps, just to make sure that the fly's durable. <clears throat> so it's pretty easy, right? Weight. Polar, polar chenille, possum strip, and then we're going to put some of this, um, I believe that's purple chub flash. Just clip a few pieces. Looking for maybe five or six, I don't know. And for these ones, when I first started tying this leech, I would get the flash that would kind of sit around the hook and foul. So what I like to do is Tie that in so that it's at an angle, pointing upwards, kind of like horns on a traditional spay fly. And that tends to help keep the flash from wrapping around the hook and fouling. So there's the tire side. I'm going to pull that over and down, bring the thread around it, lock it, and then bring that back up into position. Same angle. Make a few cuts. There we go, that's good. <clears throat> and we're going to do a little bit of a dubbing loop with a contrasting color. This is going to be the cyan blue possum. So here's that cyan leather. It's probably a little more than I need, so I'm going to clip that. Let's see. This possum, I've done a few videos on it, it's starting to beat it to death, but fold the leather in half lengthwise, straighten the hair. Super easy to take the fur off the leather. A 
just spread that out a little bit. And that thing just laid in there super nice. It's really straight off the dubbing loop, so I know it's not going to bind on itself and get stuck. And once we get it spread out, get the length right. Leave a plus, plus eight, eighth inch of butts. Just enough spinning so you know that it's locked in and making sure it's not bound with a flea comb. And also let you know how well you've locked it together. So that feels like it's going to be in there and durable. Hackle plier, pull the dubbing spinner out. Just kind of fold it or sweep it and spin. I think it's two full turns. Three or so turns is good. movement and translucency of this possum in the water is amazing. All right, so Kingfisher Blue Schloppen. I always like tying in tip first. I cut a little tie-in tab for it. Let's just do a little bit of hackle folding. Okay, so we're getting the Zappagap on there, and then just for good measure, the Zappagap's a little stale. I'm going to put a one or two turn half inch on it, just like that. We'll take this out and cut it. I'll hold it vertical, bring just a little bit of heat down to it. So Pro Sport Fisher American Opossum Leech. Um, there's probably easier flies to cast on a spare rod, but there's not an easier leech to cast. These are great flies.